So I'm currently doing a write-up for the email list and basically just talking about foods that naturally boost your glutathione levels because if you guys have noticed, um, usually people who are on glutathione, they're also told to also like try to eat as raw as they can or like really clean up their diet because if you do that, it'll actually naturally boost the glutathione that your body naturally makes and obviously it'll help whatever you're supplementing. Um, it'll just all around, just there'll be more glutathione. It'll all be in the email list. So if you're already um, on the email list, like don't worry, it'll be there later today. Um, if you're not, then you still have time to sign up for that. Uh, just email the email that's in the description box. But basically they also have like an entire list of vitamin C rich foods that you should also be taking because that will help kind of in, in a weird way boost your glutathione and the way it was explained is that if you eat foods that are high in vitamin C that vitamin C will basically do the job of what the glutathione is doing glutathione is like the master antioxidant it's like an amazing antioxidant it takes out all toxins and gross stuff from your cells and um, it's anti-aging it's just it does a lot of really great stuff well, when you drink or you might consume things that might have a specific level of toxins in it, like some people say, we'll stay away from fish and stuff like that because the mercury in it, and that's gonna deplete your glutathione stores because what your glutathione does, like it kind of almost attacks and it processes out all of that negative crap. In this case, it would be mercury. Hopefully only small traces of mercury in fish because I still like to eat some fish, but, um, yeah, it just, you're using your glutathione stores to, you know, take out the toxins and the things that you're eating when really you could be using those glutathione stores for helping out your skin and even just helping your body just run smoother and be more healthy. So if you eat the vitamin C rich foods, basically the vitamin C does the job of what the glutathione would be doing because vitamin C is a huge detoxing agent as well. So basically what it does is it attacks and takes out all of those toxins and then your glutathione can be used for other things. So yeah, the list of the glutathione rich foods or like the ones that like will naturally help you make more glutathione is like, uh, I have it written down, broccoli, avocado, okra, cantaloupe, Mind you, like I said, if you're on the email list, I'm gonna send you like a whole list of these foods um, as well as the vitamin C foods. But um, keep in mind, it works best if you eat these raw. Um, as it was explained to me, when you cook it, you're kind of cooking out, um, I don't wanna say cooking out the glutathione, but basically it's not gonna be as potent. It's not gonna uh, work as well. Um, you'll just still have like small trace amounts when really you wanna get as much as you can. So. Be careful, um, most of these just eat them raw if you can. So back to the list, um, it's like broccoli, avocado, okra, cantaloupe, tomato, carrot, grapefruit, zucchini, watermelon, peach, mango, banana, cucumber, apple, grape, walnuts, kale, mustard greens, cauliflower, onion, spinach, shallots, I think garlic was also on there. Um, it's just it's crazy it's like a lot a lot of food um some of my favorites would just be um spinach though i usually cook my spinach so i have to start like eating more like spinach salads and things like that um i did not i was very surprised when i saw walnuts on there i definitely did not see, think walnuts was uh, a food that would help with glutathione or have any glutathione in it now when we get to the vitamin c rich foods um I was surprised to see strawberries on there. You guys already know all citrus food, fruits, like all citrus fruits, not just oranges. Um, papayas is on there, kiwi, bell peppers. If you guys noticed today, I'm not wearing any makeup so you guys can see. Um, basically, I don't have any active breakouts right now, which is crazy, um, but I do still have obviously a lot of the dark marks and some of the scarring. So it'll be interesting to see in the next few weeks if, um, if it starts to lighten up. Honestly, I thought it would be a little darker, so like some of the scars, like a little worse than what they are. So I guess I'm not gonna complain too much, but uh, I mean, you guys would see my face, even with the uh, makeup on it, like 
You can still see all of those breakouts. Obviously with this list, I am not saying to stop taking your supplements or take less glutathione. Um, we're just talking about why people recommend eating healthy, eating clean, and how it can actually help you boost even more glutathione in your body, as well as, you know, if you're eating a lot of vitamin C, it can help the vitamin C kind of attack and get all the impurities and toxins out of whatever's happening in your body. If you're kind of eating processed foods or just whatever, because I know sometimes it's not necessarily about what you eat. It could just be about if you live in an area where the air purity is like, you know, not up to par, or if you work somewhere where, you know, you should probably be wearing a mask. Um, vitamin C will really, really help do that. So vitamin C definitely works hand in hand with glutathione. Now I'm seeing in which ways. And um, for me, I'm still taking uh, 4,000 milligrams of lip liposomal vitamin C a day. And then on top of any of the natural food that I get the vitamin C from. And I definitely would say do liposomal vitamin C over any other type of vitamin C because your body just does not absorb as much of it as it's supposed to. So if you are taking just regular vitamin C over the counter, uh, one of the best tricks, and um, you'll find like there's a lot of different journals that cite this as well, is to break it up into like 200 or 250 milligram doses. And basically um, make sure you're eating it on an empty stomach because especially like if you're eating like a lot of carbs, Sometimes the carbs kind of, uh, your body will, I guess, instead break down the carbs instead of taking in the vitamin C. So anyways, um, don't take your vitamin C if you're like eating like, you know, bread or a sandwich. You can still eat your carbs. I'm just saying I would give yourself time and then eat whatever carbs. But you're supposed to take vitamin C like on an empty stomach because it helps your body to absorb it better anyways. And especially if you're not taking liposomal, then you need to get as much as you can. So yeah, you would break it up in 200 to 250 milligram um, doses and just take it all throughout the day. And I think our body usually does a better job of absorbing it when it's in very, very small doses. When you try to take, let's say 500 milligrams or anything over 200 milligrams all at once, um, a lot of that is just gonna go out in your urine because um, yeah, your body cannot basically process it all at once. So keep that in mind. The easiest way to get over this is just take the liposomal vitamin C. And so that's what I take and it's amazing. <laughs> and that's just what I've been doing. I'll continue to take uh, a high amounts of vitamin C now that I know that if I'm putting in stuff in my body that's gonna kind of deplete my glutathione stores, it's best to have a lot of vitamin C because then the vitamin C will kind of do the job of filtering out all of the grossness out of those cells and it won't use up my glutathione.